available 24 hours a day. to wait for something like uh, like a birthday or Christmas or slow popcorn that just doesn't seem to pop <laughs> or what about people who are late well I just don't think I can wait any longer how about you coming with me back to the factory okay oh let's see I uh, I better leave a note for the kids so they'll know where we are There. I'll just leave it right there. Come on. jars I had yesterday. Ellie! PJ, what's the matter? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, uh, no. I'm looking for that box of jars I had yesterday. Jars? Huh? You mean you didn't hurt yourself? You were calling so loudly, I thought something was wrong. I'm sorry. It's just that I'm upset. I can't find anything today, and I had... Where were those jars? I remember I had them over here. That's right. And, and now they're not here. Will you please calm down? Hmm? Calm down. How can I calm down? I want to show everybody this new project, and the kids are going to be coming in here any second. I don't have the jars. You know, when you get in a hurry, you just waste a lot of time. Just calm down, take it slowly, and be a little patient with yourself. Yes, I'll, uh, that's right. That's very good. <laughs> I need to calm down and just take things easy and be a little patient with myself. Yes. Much better. Now, where was the box the last time you saw it? I don't know where those jars were. You see, I had them right over here. And then, don't you remember, we took it over to the table and... <laughs> They're right there. <laughs> right where we left them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't have found them without you. I guess I couldn't find my patience either without you. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> it does look like I've got everything I need. Oh! <laughs> Losing your patience, PJ? <laughs> As a matter of fact, yes, I did, but I have found it. <laughs> now, if I could just find the soil and the beans. Soil? Beans. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, what's soil and beans for? <laughs> found the soil and the beans. Well, what's the beans for? And if I can just uh, find the spoons and the water. Here they are. Well, what's all these things for, PJ? Yeah. Oh, oh. You will have to wait to find out about that. Wait. Uh, oh, oh, no, no, no. Tell me now, PJ. Yeah. Please. Tell me now. Tell me now. Tell me now. Tell me, 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 tell me. 
Brad three, smudge, left. You're losing your patience. Patience? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I hear kids coming. Uh, Come on, uh, smudge, let's get out of here. Well, I was trying to teach them about patience, but it seems it's one of the hardest things there is to learn. Yeah. Why's that, DJ? Well, because it takes time, and nobody likes to wait for anything or anybody. Yeah. Yeah. What does patience mean, DJ? And why does it take so long? And why do we have to learn it anyway? Well, wait a minute. Hold it. Hold it. It's one thing at a time. What does patience mean? Well... How can I explain that? Uh, patience means waiting. But waiting for what? <laughs> you tell me. What are some things people wait for? A letter from a friend. Yeah. yeah. What else? Mother to finish fixing dinner. Yeah. yeah. And for report cards to come out. Aww. <laughs> I guess there's some things you don't care if they ever come, right? Yeah. But there's other things that are even harder to wait for. Like going fishing and coming home with nothing. Yeah. Or waiting yeah. to eat the first dish of cheese and then to clean our backyard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder why some things are harder to wait for than others. Because you always know that letter from the friend will come. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and that mother will finish making dinner. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. But you never know if the fish will bite. Mm -hmm. Or that the tree will live and give us fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're right. Sometimes patience means waiting for the seconds and the minutes and the hours and the days to go by. Yeah. <laughs> we can't do anything to make time go faster. So what can we do? Mm. What can we do? Well, we can learn to have patience. That's what we can yeah. do. <laughs> and here's a song that'll help explain it even better.
We'll be right back after these messages. Before a disaster turns your family's world upside down, it's up to you to be ready. Get a kit. Make a plan. Be informed today. Learn how at ready.gov. Fruit. What a tasty treat. Fruits packed with potassium and other nutrients can help keep your heart pumping strong during the game. And they give you energy back so you can take on the next activity. Can your food do that? Run, throw, think, eat better. Find out more at smallstep.gov. Listen up, energy hogs. We got a real porker of a house here. Get in there and waste some energy. There's no insulation, boss. It's hog heaven. Leaky windows, too. This is going to be a breeze. Perfect. Go wild and waste some wattage. <laughs> Time to tan. Oh, there's hot water for just one pair of pants. <clears throat> My kind of place. Wow, this thing's so old, it's gonna take me hours to get dry. <laughs> Keep wasting. They'll never know what hit them till they get the energy bill. <laughs> what the? Boss, they're home. And they've got energy efficient balls. <laughs> You've got the power to get rid of energy hogs. You can help your parents add insulation, put in Energy Star appliances, and lots of other things to make your home hog free. Find out how at energyhog.org and play fun games too. Oh, retreat! Retreat! Go to energyhog.org and get the energy hogs out of your home. Hey! Wait for me! And now, back to the program. Have any of you ever planted a seed and watched it grow? I've watched the vegetables in my dad's garden grow. I've watched my mom's flowers grow. Smudge has a weed garden that I watch grow. <laughs> <laughs> well, today I'm going to help you all start your very own plant. Come over here. Right, right. Why don't you just go to the store and buy a plant that's already grown? Why don't you just go to the store and buy a plant that's already grown? I just said that. Because that wouldn't be near as much fun as planning your own. And besides, I think this is just the thing we need to help us learn more about patience. <laughs> well, how is this going to teach us about patience? How is this going to teach us about patience? I just said that. Well, because it takes a lot of time and a lot of care to grow a plant. Well, let's get started. Yeah, let's do. Now, uh, everybody needs a cup, so you can use uh, baby food jars or peanut butter jars or styrofoam cups like we have here. And then you need some good soil. What's next? What's next? Well, I just said that. You fill up your cup with this soil. Let's so everybody take a spoon. And you need to fill it up. And then don't pack it in too tightly. You want to leave it loose enough that the seed can grow. Okay, everybody got some? Yeah. Yeah. Here, let me help you there, Stephen. Okay, good. You fill yours up. Then, you take a seed. It's TJ. That's not a seed, that's a bean. <laughs> TJ, that's not a seed, it's a bean. I just said that. <laughs> You're right. A bean is a seed. That means instead of calling them green beans, you can call them green seeds. Last night for dinner, Mom didn't take pork and beans. She took pork and seeds. <laughs> Why no beans? I don't get it. Here, has everybody got a, a seed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I need a bean. All right. Now, push it down into the soil. Not too deep. Just deep enough that the soil comes over the top of it. Well, when do you water it? Uh, when do you water it? I just said that. Very next thing you okay. do, water it. Pour in some water. Not too much, just enough to moisten the dirt. And remember, to water your plant every day. <laughs> well, how long is it going to take for this plant to grow? How long will it take for the plant to grow? I just said that. About a week. Well, that's a long time. 
join together to protect our world, or we could lose all it gives us. To learn how you can help, call for your free World Wildlife Fund Action Kit at 1-800-C-A-L-L-W-W-F. Together, we can be a force for nature. Sorry. What are you apologizing for? Your clumsiness or your sorry outfit? <laughs> Take a stand. Lend a hand. Stop bullying now. Listen up, energy hogs. We got a real porker of a house here. Get in there and waste some energy. Insulation, boss. It's hog heaven. Leaky windows, too. This is going to be a breeze. Perfect. Go wild and waste some wattage. <laughs> Time to tan. Oh, there's hot water for just one pair of pants. <clears throat> My kind of place. Wow, this thing so old, it's gonna take me hours to get dry. <laughs> Keep wasting. They'll never know what hit them till they get the energy bill. <laughs> what the? Boss, they're home. And they've got energy efficient balls. Ah! You've got the power. 
to get rid of Energy Hog. You can help your parents add insulation, put in Energy Star appliances, and lots of other things to make your home hog free. Find out how at energyhog.org and play fun games too. Oh, retreat! Retreat! Go to energyhog.org and get the Energy Hogs out of your home. Hey, wait for me! And now, back to the program. Looks like it needs some water. learned today how much better things are when we are patient with each other yeah. than we yeah. Let's make a deal. I'll be more patient with you 
if you'll all be more patient with me. Okay. It's okay? <laughs> and what about you? Why don't you try it at home and see if things don't go better when you learn to wait? Until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.